I'm Stacy DeFord with Home Gardener, and this week we're talking perennials with Rick Vespa of English Gardens. How do we get started? Well, Stacy, these are perennials, the ones that we plant once and they flower year after year. So the first thing we want to consider is the location, sun or shade. That's actually always the first question we ask when planting. The next thing is color, uh, height, textures, um, all of those things. What are some of your favorites here? My favorites are things like the peonies here, which are great early flowers. Roseanne geranium is a very popular landscape plant, plant blue, uh, lavender sort of flowers uh, for a long period of time. Coreopsis here is a great flower. Um, this one, Allium, which- it's very um, dramatic. You can plant the bulb in the fall, but these are already, we have them uh, pre-potted and ready to go. And a beautiful flower, a purple flower. That's kind of different, stem. isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, and what about this? It smells this, amazing. Yep, lavender, it hasn't fully flowered yet. It gets a beautiful, uh, more flower than that, but it has great fragrance. Yeah. And down here, we've got texture. Uh, that's an important element in the garden. So things like hosta, ferns, um, the sedge grass there. Um, I like this red one. Yeah, that's uh, coral bells, another popular accent plant. It does get a small flower, but great color. How do we get started? Make sure we plant with a starter fertilizer like this Biotone. Okay. And then you can fertilize in season with this Plantone fertilizer. This will keep things very uh, uh, growing well. And you can find more information at wxyz.com slash English Gardens.